Hi y'all, this is Deidre here with Deidre Show Dreamers coming at you with a new video. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, share this video with family and friends as I'm trying to grow my channel. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. So today's going to be a hodgepodge of just random things I'm just going to be babbling about. Just probably babbling like a mad woman. But I really wanted to sit down. I guess I would like to talk about economics and your economic status in society. I guess that's what I really would like to talk about today. And I know that's not a video that um, I'm going to be taking it a different way. But I just think that some people are not like talking about it but i mean i guess in my circle with the weight loss community and things of that nature um i can understand why we're not talking about it but i just kind of wanted to touch on it and give my spin on it just on a few things nothing heavy and but before that i have some lip oil i just opened and this is watermelon flavor is watermelon flavor. I don't know if you can even see that. No, you can't. But. Mwah, I love it. I get it at the Dollar Tree. Sadly, that segues into our um, talk about um, economic and the situation there. Um, but, you know, as most of you know, and I'm pretty sure well aware of, Dollar Tree is not no longer going to be Dollar Tree. So I'm wondering if they're going to rebrand, like be the Dollar Store. Well, they are the Dollar Store, but I don't know if they're going to rebrand, like, and rename and that kind of thing. But, um, and most of you aware, they're going from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five, and um, all across the country to help with shipping and getting the products available. But also, they are instilling um, Dollar Tree Pluses um, all over the country. And I'm wondering if this pop-up door, it's called like pop-up, I think is the name of it, pop-up. I'm wondering if it is a Dollar Tree like alternative or if it is like a Dollar General alternative or what have you. Because I went in there, they had a wide variety of products from Beauty beauty a products like male and female like body wash razors makeup to like home decor some of the home decor was off the chain them prices were like sizzling honey so um and they were like sizzling in a good way like they were like reasonable but the products were like really high quality so i'm um, Thinking that the Dollar Tree is going to have to, like, really step up their game as far as what they offer in their Dollar Tree Plus section and um, the product for $1.25 will probably stay about the same. But I have noticed that I thought their, like, holiday decor was more on the, um, more well-made, um side if you will so yeah so i know that um these times are like really hard for everybody i mean especially with christmas here and i know for myself i was not able to buy any christmas this year i'm going to have a little bit of christmas money to buy my baby some stuff, Matthew, in the end. But we originally did not even think we were going to have that. But just due to a Christmas miracle, we are able to buy food and get some things. And basically, we're not even going to get, like, gift gift. We're basically going to get things we need, like socks, underwear, 
um thing to that nature. I'm wanting some hydration sticks, some like hydration powder stick. And um so yeah. Um but uh I tell you what I want in a Christmas video. Like make it like a little list or whatever. But uh that's beside the point. Um back to my economic lesson. No, I'm just playing. Um but due to some twist of fate or whatever, we are going to get to have a Christmas. And so I'm so thankful for that. I'm like so happy and relieved that we can like just take our hair down, take our boots off, so to speak, and just get to enjoy that time with each other, wrap each other's presents up and get to open them and get to guess what we wrapped them in and stuff like that. Just fun thing that um, some people take for granted. I know I did. I took it for granted that, one, I was going to have people that I love always here and that's just not the case and that I would always have money that I would always have the means to get somebody a gift and I'm learning the best gift of all is Matthew and the dog and family and friends um excuse me my eye itches um but I just am learning, like, a lesson that some people learn earlier in life. Some people learn it later. Some people don't learn it all. But for me, I guess, my life has been very materialized. And for that, I'm grateful. Like, I'm not saying, like, oh, I didn't want the thing that I got or whatever. Like, I always got everything I wanted as a little girl. Thank you, Mom and Dad. And that was, if you've never been showered with gifts like that, then you don't know what I'm talking about when you are kind of wrapped up in materialism. And, like, I really didn't even realize it till this year, actually, because I was just, I told Matthew, I was just like, Baby, I want a gift. I can't help it but not want a gift. Like, and I was like, I guess it comes from being material, being, being, um, materialistic. But I just, whether it was materialistic or not, I kind of felt it was materialistic. And, I learned this year that all I really need is Matthew and the dog. That's all I really need. Even being more specific than just my family and my friends. Yes, I love my family. Yes, I love my friends. What few friends I do have, most of them, them are online or internet or YouTube or some other sort. They're not close by. But, um, I learned that this holiday season and um if you never thought well maybe I'm a materialistic person don't be ashamed um you know there's no shame in being who you are and being the way that you've been taught or trained or the way life has brought you up so don't be ashamed um but just Think about it. Like, am I a materialistic person? Am I, like, you know, am I this way, that way, the other way? Not as a, like, oh, woe is me. Like, oh, my God, I'm a horrible person. Like, I could have took it that way. And at first, I was just, like, a little standoffish about the idea. I was like, maybe I am materialistic. And I thought about my upbringing of being showered with gifts. And my um, parents and my grandparents 
um, showing me um, love through money. And that's how I got showed love some of the time. Besides, you know, the other ways you can be loved. But one of the ways you can be loved is through finances or gifts. And some people, like, thrive off that. I obviously... Um, do to a certain extent because I'm admitting that I'm materialistic, but I, uh, when I took the five love languages test, I was more affection. I was like other things over material things, but material things was higher up on the list. Financial things, I mean, or gifts. So, I just... Uh, wanted to share that and kind of put that out there. Um, some people might say, why would you put that out there? But I just think it goes to show that you learn life lessons all throughout life. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong being an adult learning a lesson that maybe somebody else or even yourself think that you should have learned sooner. Like, I think, you know, the less, uh, the, um, saying that, you know, you, that, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, change is inevitable, and, you know, you learn something new every day, and that lesson that you learn today, you know, it, I guess what I'm saying is not detriment that you're learning it later in life. Like, I'm 37. I'm not a spring chicken. I've been around the block a little bit. I'm not street smart to save my life. Um, but I know what I know about. And I don't claim to know anything more than I know. But one thing I can say is learning life lesson at this point in life, sometimes can be like a little brute ego because you're like, why didn't I learn that earlier? Or like, that's like so horrible of me. But the horrible thing is not knowing. The horrible thing is going through life and not experiencing change or an upgrade in your life or upgrade in yourself over... Um, changes that are happening to you. And don't let yourself hold back on changes that could be happening in your life. And now sometimes I know it takes a while to realize it, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about where you just say, oh, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to learn that about myself. I don't want to deal with that about me. Don't be that way. Allow yourself to learn about you. And that's one thing that Matthew really has hurt on me about if these are I want to, I want you to take care of you like finally I'm getting through my thick hard headed skull what he is talking about like renovate myself like I've not had the time or the opportunity to take care of myself as much as I have with this man I tell you what I love this man so much he wants me to take care of me above everybody else including him and I always take care of him it's not that I don't take care of him but we have a different kind of relationship than most people have and we have been envied for our relationship this video may be a little bit longer than some of my videos but just bear with me I really feel like there's some diamond in the rough, some gems in this conversation that I'm having with you. Like, I'm learning right now that I do need to take care of me, that I'm not taking care of myself in a really long time. And that's why I, like, started a weight loss journey. I thought I was doing it for all the right reasons, but I'm realizing I was doing it a little backwards, a little bit. That, you know, there's never, in my opinion, there's never a wrong way 
to lose weight. Like, if you do it, you do it safely. I'm not about, like, if you're doing it safely, you know, yada, 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 yada. That's not what I'm talking about. But why I say there's no wrong way, there's no wrong reason to lose weight. Like, whether you do it for your children, your husband, you, to look sexy, to look good in a bathing suit, to look good in clothes, to be able to function better, to be able to tie your shoe, to lower your blood pressure, to lower, you know, to come on medicine. Whatever your reason is and whatever you can stick with and say, you know what, like, oh, I just got to do this for my health or whatever. And it could be anything. It doesn't have to be losing weight. I just say losing weight because that's the niche I'm in and that's the goal, some of the goals that I set for myself, but whatever, it could be YouTube, it could be your job, it can be your children, it could be your family, but don't let people dictate what you do, like, I wish I would have had somebody to push me just a little bit further to be stronger with my family that is no longer living sadly and say, listen, I need X, Y, or Z from you so that I can have more time for X, Y, or Z in my life because, like, I'm at a point now where I'm trying to play catch up in my life. I'm trying to lose weight like I'm trying to lose over 200 pounds now and like that's playing a huge catch up in my life at this stage in the game like I'm 37 years old I don't feel like I should have to be at the place where I'm at in my health <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm getting emotional, but, like, I don't feel like I should be at this place in my life, but I find myself here. And the reason why I do what I do is because if I can just help one person on their journey through life in any facet, in any way, and for whatever reason, I've been like being given this gift in the weight loss community to share my story, to share my struggles, to share my successes, to celebrate my wins with you. And I mean, it's hard losing weight. It is not easy. It is not always the uphill slide in you know, slam dunk, whatever euphemism you want to give it, and not always glitter and butterflies is hard work. It takes not really determination but or motivation, but it takes, like, everything you have to give it to, like, make the changes that you need to see in your life. I'm talking about no matter what change you want to see in your life, whether it's 20 pounds, whether it's 200 pounds, it is all a struggle in its own right. There are no bragging rights for losing just 200 pounds or over 20 pounds. They, they're both, they both can be equal in somebody's eyes from different perspectives. And... No matter what you're trying to accomplish in your life, if I can just help you understand that it's going to be a struggle in some aspects of the word. Like, you may struggle more with your weight than you do your finances. Or you may struggle with your weight and your finances, but maybe not much in this other area of your life. Or you may be a spiritual person. Or you may, uh, you know, there's so many 
facets and we're all created so differently and we're not created equally and I don't believe that we all were created with the same amount of tools in the toolbox so to speak and I'm not talking about somebody's IQ or their education level or any of that I believe that some people were born poor some people were born rich there are a mix of people they come from all facets of life they've all experienced life differently and that's what makes us so unique so just oh my god perfect it makes it beautifully irregularly dysfunctionally beautiful because because we're so different we're so oddly unique it doesn't matter whether you were a nerd or a jock or cheerleader or whatever you find yourself doing or celebrating or creating we are all created differently we all come with different skill sets and learn different skills and are taught different things and there's so many different facets of life and I just hate that society has got to this push to push us to want to push us all in the same little mold make us all cookie cutter make us all fit into one thing we are not all one thing you're never going to create one just humdrum society there will always be that person that marches to their own beat and their own drum literally they beat to their heart beats to a different rhythm than yours and like that could be literally or physic uh like uh inspirationally like there are so many different facets and I wish society wasn't pushing for us all to be these ABC soup characters like it's not like that like you cannot make society that way you just cannot do it any society all societies are different all people in that society are different. They're created to do different roles. They may be similar roles, but they are created differently and unique for God's purpose. Like, I'm not trying to make this all spiritual either, but I do want to put my two cents in that, you know, God created us differently for a reason. He created male and female. He made uh, different... Uh, like unique situations in everyone's life no matter where you find yourself at and like it's not my job to judge that's not why i was put here i'm not a judge in the secular realm and i'm definitely not a judge in the spiritual realm and nobody has a right spiritually now, secretly, like if you run a red light or something like that, you get in trouble with law, they have a right to judge you. Like, you give them a reason until proven guilty of a reason why they might be able to judge you. That is differently. What I'm talking about is societal just, uh, society society judging you or spiritually judging someone or economically judging someone or judging someone by their um education judging somebody by their race like you can judge somebody so many ways by just race and on my soapbox as this is becoming um while I'm out there you know it is this big push now in our society to say that, oh, you're being racist or you're being this way towards me. You're being this way, that way, the other way. And what's so bad about it is a lot of it is just the media pushing this stuff. And they're not really as big of a problem as the, what they're making it out to be. They're making a mountain out of a molehill. Like... I will agree that in certain places in the country, you can find different racism 
And it happens between different nationalities, whether it be white and black, whether it be Hispanic and whatever they fight with, whether it be so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. Like, or Muslims and, um, like, whatever your nationality is. Like, there's always going to be some group you don't agree with more than the other. But that doesn't mean that you're racist. Like, maybe you were taught to believe that way. And maybe it's like some hell belief that you have that maybe you don't know where it comes. Maybe you need to explore that and discover that about yourself. Like I was talking about earlier. Like, discover you. Like, if that's any gift you can give yourself this year, is enjoy the journey exploring yourself whether you have kids in a family, whether you don't, whether you have a little bit of time or a lot of time to work on yourself. Spend this year and make some clear cut goal and say by the by this time I want to have learned this skill or this mindset or I want to learn more about this culture or this mindset or this word or whatever the case may be. Like I learned so much about perseverance last year. Like, I overcame, and I may, like, get emotional again. Um, I overcame so much, and I will share that in a video for sure. Um, but... I overcame so much last year, and I'm so proud of myself um, in some respects because I did show up and I did do the damn thing every day. And, you know, some days it wasn't a lot, like, but... To see where I'm at now... And not who I was a year ago. And that's something that can't be changed. But you have the opportunity each and every day to wake up and do the damn thing. Whatever it is that you need to do. Like whether it's get that bath. Whether it's as simple as putting your clothes on. Whether it's as simple as. Just putting your makeup on or doing larger things in life, you know? Like, there are so many avenues that you can explore about yourself. Like, just don't make it cookie cutter. Like, explore yourself, explore your personality, explore those unknown spaces about yourself, be real with yourself, be open and honest. If you cannot be open and honest with yourself, you cannot do that with anyone else. And not to the full extent as you would if you were open and honest with yourself. And, you know, I just have so much I want to say on some of the topics I've talked about today. And I really feel like this was a roundabout, kind of in a weird sort of rambly way, a good rounding out of things for me and to share with you and to kind of get off my chest some thing in a roundabout way because I want you to see me real and raw. That was also another point that I made in my channel. When I'm up, I'm up. And when I'm down, I'm down. And you'll see me every way on this channel. You'll see me on goofy days. You'll see me on sad days. You'll see me on some of my depressed days. Even though a lot of times I isolate. But that is for personal reasons. And I choose not to just broadcast that I'm like in like the slump of a lifetime it seems like for like the 300th time but and you'll see me happy and um I just 
want that realism to show through on my videos. And with that being said, dream big, Dietrich Daily Dreamers. And I really mean it every time I say it. Dream big. Bye-bye.